Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to make a slideshow using Carousel and Hero Banner. Slideshow is a common way to display multiple images in a gallery-like manner, along with the content. To create a slideshow that looks like the one I showed you, using GemPages Carousel and Hero Banner is an optimal solution. Moreover, in this video, you can effectively combine fundamental elements to create more complex elements on our editor. Not making you wait any longer, let's move on. To begin with, I will scroll down to find the carousel element in the left sidebar. You can locate the element faster by typing carousel element into the search bar here. In our new editor, there are two variants of carousel. One displays one slide per screen, and the other for multiple slides per screen. The first variant is more common, so I will use it for demonstration. By default, this variant has two slides, allowing users to drag and drop content. For a more appealing slideshow, I go to the section settings and click Full Width. Now I will drag and drop the hero banner element then I upload the banner and set Fit Height for the best display. I will return to the left sidebar and drag the three-column row into the Hero banner and respectively drag and drop Heading, Text Block, and Button into one of the columns. I can also drag and drop the Hero banner element into Slide 2 but to save time, I will delete slide two and duplicate slide one to avoid setting up elements from scratch. Now I will continue editing each slide for better demonstration by putting content into where it should be. Heading, text, button. All right, it's time to style the text. I will make it more consistent with the brand. In the next slide, I will do the same thing. Heading, text, button, and styling. I will click on the carousel layer to open carousel settings. I will enable some of the settings. Drag to scroll. This allows users to move to the next slide without clicking on the arrows next, previous. Infinity Loop. This setting enables the slides to run in a loop infinitely. Autoplay. It allows automatic sliding after a certain time. In this case, I will set it to two seconds. There are other setting options that you can consider for your slider. You can show the dots button or display, hide, the next and previous arrows. Many more for you to explore. You can find more details about the settings at the Help Center of the Editor's 7.0 Carousel Element. That's it! We now have completed a slideshow that shines. This is the end of the video in the GemPages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.